How's it going guys? As I'm sure you're aware by now, whenever we get an update for Horizon 5, after we get it, we always like to look into the brand new, fresh updated files to see if anything new has popped up in regards to leaks, news, just anything about the future of the game really. Well, we've got some really bizarre things to talk about today that are really intriguing and very weird. And in general, just an update video talking about everything that's going on lately. So obviously the, or the update that we're talking about is Horizon Retrowave. It has now been released. We have the full change log now as well, which also includes the full bugs, fixes and changes list. It's not much bigger than what we covered in my video a few days ago, but it is it's there on screen if you want to read it. There's a developer's note in there as well, which I suggest you read just in case you're one of the players having those issues. But yeah, that is the Horizon Retrowave update. Now, it is obviously the Horizon Retrowave update that has updated the files and some interesting new things have appeared. Who else would it be other than TGR55 to do all the snooping? Let's take a look at what he found over on GT Planet and figure out what on earth this could mean in terms of what we are getting in the game. So he found this. It is a coming soon icon that simply says coffee shop. If you don't know what a coming soon icon is, it's for this page right here. This is about the next update, series 35. You've got all of these widgets down at the bottom. That is what this is. It just says coffee shop. So interesting we'll, we'll come back to that and then he also found two coffee cup badges interestingly these two badges above are marked for series 36 now as i said the current update is series 34 the next update which is modern horizons as you can see on screen that's series 35 all of these things that are found here are supposedly going to be series 36. Now obviously when we're talking about leaks and stuff we have to take it all with a grain of salt it could mean nothing but this guy is definitely trustworthy, so it's worth looking into and making some theories up. Why not? That's what this channel's all about. So what on earth could these findings mean? What could we be getting in series 36 or whenever we get this coffee shop update? What on earth does that mean in terms of cars and features for our Forza game? We're not a coffee game, we're a, we're a driving game, so it's really interesting. The coffee shop definitely interests me because that screams it's going to be some kind of location on the Horizon Mexico map. Maybe it's a car meet, maybe they're bringing a car show at a coffee shop. Cars and coffee is a regular thing in real life. Car meets at coffee shops are definitely a thing. Again, we're just bringing up theories and guessing here. It's really not what I expected to see on a coming soon page, a coffee shop. And then obviously along with that, we've got the two badges. Now, I presume these are player badges, similar to what you can see on screen now. These were introduced to the game a good few months ago now. And if we're getting an update that not only has a coffee shop on the coming soon page, but also gives us two coffee badges as well, there's definitely something coffee themed for this update. It definitely makes you think that way anyway. So whilst you guys are thinking and coming up with your ideas about what these could possibly mean in the comment section below, I thought I would ask ChatGPT because ChatGPT is obviously really good at scouring the internet for information. I thought I'd ask it what could possibly be related to coffee and Forza in July because that's when this update would come out. Series 36, I think, is around July 18th. So I asked ChatGPT to come up with some predictions, some guesses, some ideas about what could be coffee related for Forza Horizon 5. And this is what I had to say. Features, coffee shop locations, in-game landmarks, a new coffee shop landmark scattered throughout the map where players can meet, customize cars or take photos. Meetup spots, coffee shops as new social hubs where players can gather for virtual car meets, share liveries or participate in community events. Bear in mind that all of this is just AI generated chat GBT, it's just all gibberish, but it's interesting to get ideas from. Coffee themed challenges, delivery missions, special missions where players deliver coffee to various locations within a time limit. I can't really see that happening in Forza Horizon 5, but it does make you think if we are getting coffee badges, there must be some kind of event or challenge that we have to do to unlock these badges. It makes you think, doesn't it? There's a few other ideas there with coffee themed liveries, coffee themed customization competitions, new horns and emotes, coffee shop sounds like the ding of a bell or espresso machine noises, along with emotes like sipping coffee. To be honest, all of these are pretty damn good points. If we are getting a coffee themed update, I can definitely see us getting weird things like that. I asked it about potential new cars as well. If there are any cars out there that are like coffee related, and it came up with a few things like a Volkswagen Type 2 Microbus, a Citroen H van, Nissan NV200, a Ford Transit Custom, a Piaggio Ape, a Morgan three-wheeler. 
I don't really know if those have any meaning behind them, but it's what ChatGPT thinks. Again, we're just theorizing here. Now, the one that caught my attention was the special edition or themed cars, where it suggested that sponsored cars could be a thing, or a sponsored with a real life brand, such as Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. Starbucks is the interesting one. I mean, I don't know about you, but the the logos kind of remind me of Starbucks. I mean, coffee is very generic nowadays, but I don't know. If, it's, if there's going to be any collaboration with any coffee company out there, it's got to be Starbucks, surely. I'm not going to spend too much time talking gibberish about coffee when we're obviously all car fans, but let me know in the comment section below what on earth you think we could be getting in the game that's to do with a coffee shop, coffee badges, what do you think? I'm sure we'll find out around Series 36 if these leaks turn out to be true. We have got other things to talk about. The leaked car list from after the previous update hasn't changed. We didn't get any cars on here that are that were previously leaked. All of the cars came kind of by surprise, so nothing has changed there. More leaks, actually over on the motorsport side of things, um, but we're going to talk about them because we've spoke about it before, how motorsport and Horizon, new things in each game keep sort of being added to each other so any leaks over on the motorsport side could certainly mean something for Horizon as well. TGR55 again who else would it be? He spotted some new tech strings in the latest motorsport update. Netta which is a Chinese electric vehicle brand. We know that uh, player on games and Forza are definitely enjoying adding electric vehicles to the game nowadays especially the really bizarre electric vehicle brands so it doesn't surprise me that we found that in the files. Could we be getting them in motorsport and or horizon at some point? I'm sure we could. Mansory or Mansori, I'm sure you've heard of that. It's definitely one of the most popular body kit companies, especially for Euruses. If you're into the car social media world, then there's no way you've not heard of Mansori. So that would be insane to have in the game. I'd love to have a Eurus. Again, no way of knowing if that's Motorsport, Horizon or both. And then we've got this one. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. This is another rims and body kit manufacturer, just like all the other body kit manufacturers that pop up in the files. Again, they look quite cool. They seem to focus on SUVs, Mercs, Beamers, those kind of cars. Looks pretty cool. Now, over the past couple of months, we have seen an awful lot of body kit related tech strings and manufacturers within the motorsport files, which does make me wonder if we're going to get a body kit themed update in the future. It's probably far away if we're getting anything like that, but it does make you wonder if we'll ever get something like that. So lots of different random things happening in the Horizon world at the moment. Please do let me know in the comment section below what you think about this coffee stuff because it's making me really intrigued as to what we're getting in update 36 in July. I'm sure we'll find out closer to the time. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you all later.